Um, shoot. It really is empty. <laughs> First stop, We're gonna do the groomers and we're gonna go get them completely shaved off. Like right down to the knickers. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. And then in the event of the coronavirus, uh, we're gonna go get prepared for it. And well, and you wanna hear something funny? Okay, so I work from home. I come out of my little home once in a while, realize that apparently Toilet paper of all things is sold out. Yeah. And, and so I'm like, don't, no worries. We always shop in bulk. We're good. Yeah. Good go Costco. We're good. <laughs> so go to like put another roll on my old toilet paper thing and yeah. legit, we don't have any we got toilet a roll paper. And a half left. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, it's not dire straits. Like we have other things we could use. I heard Walgreens has. I don't, I don't know. know. But anyway, I thought we'd take you along. We have to pick up toilet yes. paper and I don't even know if we'll find it. And also, just in case we get stranded for two weeks, which I already know we have enough food in our house for oh two gosh, weeks. We do. That's frozen or canned or or whatever that we can eat for the next two weeks. If one of us gets it, I know for sure it wasn't me because I work from home. I legit yeah, never get up. Definitely could come from me like I'm still going to work Ed's in the construction industry yeah, so, so I already have one guy on site that went home with a headache and a dry cough. Were you in contact with him? I have not been in contact with him but there has been people that have been in contact with him that are back to the office so uh, I wonder if I you'll know. be working from home too just as a precaution. So this next couple weeks are going to be very interesting. Who knows? Like I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Thank but goodness we don't have any underlying ish health issues and we're in the healthy range so even if we did yes. contract it we'd be fine. But it's just chaos. Alright so we're going to drop off these two straggles. At the groomers. Anyway we just dropped the dogs off. And now we're off to the grocery store to see if we can find some toilet paper. Which, if you think about it, I'm kind of glad that we're getting the dog's hair cut. Because if this virus is as spread of, like, as stays on objects as long as it does, uh -huh. I'm glad that we're getting rid of Wallace's long hair and Bee's oh, long yeah. hair because oh, yeah. it is impossible to wash it all the time. Like, they would legit live in there. So, for cleanliness, I'm kind of glad that it worked out. It is really, like, yeah, literally ridiculous. There is hair. nobody out. Well, like, at the pet store, surprisingly, there was. Not very many. It's about it, average. Yeah, under. I've never been in a situation where people have emptied the shelves like they have been. Well, we've been, this is kind of like making history, and I don't know why everybody thought they'd had to go out and buy toilet paper. Like, I, that's, it's such a mystery to me, like, why? Everybody did that. And I don't it's know. literally. Leave everywhere. it in the comments. If you know why, please do leave it in the comments. If you went out and hoarded toilet paper, I would love yeah, to know I, I your understand. reasoning behind it. I mean, there has to be a reason. Yeah, I under well, nobody should hoard stuff. Everybody needs stuff. I feel and, bad for the people who yeah. can only budget so much and they can only get so, so much, much every and then, week. And, and now the, that there's nothing. Yeah. And then the next guy goes and buys a thousand bottles and puts them in his closet or sells them for three times the price. It's just crazy. If you're doing that, stop it. You're a jerk. Anyway, maybe maybe everything's stocked up. Maybe we're just talking nonsense. So, yeah, I know. Maybe everything's stocked up. We're gonna uh, check out the store. That guy just flashed the lights. I'm, I'm not seeing. Ed is so paranoid when it comes to the cops. Seriously, I'm not speeding. I'm driving. We're both buckled up. We're doing nothing illegal. The grocery store. First stop, we're gonna try Randall's out. And yes. the parking lot is super full. It is so. really full, so we're gonna check it out and see if there's actually toilet paper. <laughs> I wonder if they've discontinued Corona beer yet. <laughs> no, they still have it. We need to hit this aisle right here. This is the aisle we need to get prepared for the two week quarantine. Um, shoot! <laughs> It really is empty. <laughs> but there's a two paper towel limit. It's dire straits in here. Yeah, no doubt. Look at that. Like there's literally 
What's wrong with this one? Why did no one want to take this one? I know, why is there only one though? So there's lots of lots of toilet paper left. Oh, there's some toilet paper cable already getting there. There's lots, let's get Charmin, let's get the good stuff. This is like overstocked compared to HEB, man. Oh, really? Yeah, like, wow, <laughs> We really just we need. We really just need toilet paper. Like we didn't realize. <laughs> Package secured. We have toilet paper. We got it. And if you want paper towel, there's one left. Toilet, toilet paper because we legit needed toilet like, We really just needed to get and groceries. And flour. We needed flour too and we needed brown sugar. I know. Lately I've been on a kick yes. of making bread, which kind of no, wasn't a big deal. No, not bread. Fail. Pitas. But pitas. I'm really yes. successful at making pitas. It's probably an easier form. Apparently right? pitas are very easy to make. Anyway, I'm going to drop this off if so, you want to uh, right, I'll make pick me up. I don't really know what I was expecting coming out. I was kind of expecting chaos. And yeah, well, apparently yesterday there was a lot of places that were just nuts. Like lineups, like Costco's, just lineups going like through the parking lots in like Los Angeles. And everybody, the moral of the story is: stay safe, don't hoard, and be kind to everybody. Because guess yes. what? We're all in this together. So exactly, we can't go turning our backs on people no. that need it or taking stuff that they need and just throwing it in your closet or so if you're or ripping able, other people off. If you're able to help somebody out, by all means, if you have the means go on and do it. Do it. Like, there's a lot of people. A lot of people are stepping up like pro athletes and paying for all the people that can't work in all the sports sporting events because that is literally millions that's a, of people that's just a huge, just in the U.S. A huge industry that basically in one day got shut down. Gone. Gone. Ed's in the construction industry and I hate to say it but imagine. It happened. Imagine the job sites get shut down like yeah, all it takes it's, is one person to get coronavirus. Yeah, and everyone to get quarantined. And you lose all your workers, and there's there you nothing you can do because it's just that's just the way yeah, it, it is, is right yeah. now. Unreal. Kind of like the new normal right now for the next foreseeable future for the next couple months, anyway. Yeah. I don't know how it's gonna. If people don't stay inside, or stay away from everybody for at least a couple weeks and let it pass, it's just gonna keep on going and going and going. And what if you're in a city and a 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 people get sick in a week? Those poor hospitals are going to be What are they going to do? They're not going to have enough beds. I just heard last night there's 65,000 ICU beds in the USA. And That's they're it. expecting 35 million people to get sick from this. Could be, potentially. I don't, know where, over, I don't know where Ed's going to get With over 1.5 million people are going to be needing ICU beds. If that's worst case scenario, yes. Really not as painful as I thought. No, we went there, we got what we needed, we didn't hoard. We gotta go back there to pick up our dogs, so. Yeah, so for now we're gonna go home. Yeah. Well, we're stuck in traffic because we're going back to pick up B and Wallace. Yep. And I figure um, before this whole virus outbreak, I had some 
wipes in our car already that we already regularly wipe down, but I thought, you know, stuck in traffic, why not give it a quick give it a good oh, wipe down. Okay. the dogs and oh my goodness they are so short yeah very short. definitely they're summer wallace due. wallace turn around so i guess turn around further ado wallace and b oh, hey, wallace. look at these guys jeez love oh we i'm definitely gonna trim up his ears a little I bit like more it though. i don't think this is exactly what i pictured because every time that we get his ears and shaved too. They always get really poofy. I think yeah, it's a medical get, condition. I think. You get it. Like then he shakes because it's and too they, short. And they like weep. I kind of like bit. this. I kind of like that. He looks we'll like see. he looks like the he looks like the Amish guy off Kingpin. <laughs> <laughs> is how I kind of picture. All right, we got to get moving for yeah, some air circulation. Me in here. But in celebrate of their new haircut, and you know the whole social distancing thing that's happening now. We're just gonna take a drive out to the countryside. Mm -hmm. See what we can see. Good girl, is it nice and cool for you? haircut puppies here going on a little walk to a lookout coming there handsome no nope. I don't think so either I'm not too sure where exactly we are but but looks like someone tried driving up here and got stuck Flip flops, that might not be the best choice. You got this, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. He is terrified to be up here. I think she feels my heart racing. Come on, girl. Good girl. Good girl. Holy shit, I'm white knuckling it. Are it's you? not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. I know. It's a little ways down. Oh, it's a super informative. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Hey, look. Wolves. Hey, look. Oh, see, found her. Oh, hold on, Wallace. Oh, hold on. Hey, you like the Brewster's ice cream? I don't really have to worry about them going anywhere. Hey, you two. <laughs> Good 
girl. You have to wait for Bee Wallace. <laughs> Can you take? Yeah. Wallace, can you sit down? Good boy. <laughs> all right. We're all done. Baby. Apparently we're not done yet. Okay, come on puppies. Now it's our treat. Yummy. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Time to chow down. So <clears throat> You kind of were along with us pretty much the whole day. Um, we did forget to bring our GoPro on one of the hikes that we went on. And yeah, couldn't help myself. I had to, uh, you know, I'm just gonna pot up some palm trees. Nothing, nothing wrong with that, right? They're growing in a garbage heap, so I'm just gonna give them a second life. So. Yeah, it always happens. I'm always bringing something home. Do you comment below?